Any mistake could be your last. Where you're surrounded by endless miles of silence with only yourself for company and... And I can't think of a life less appealing. But obviously, it is where you belong. Yes, sir, I think it is. So then this could be our... Possibly. Then maybe we should... They have called this day the 11th of March. And whomsoever of you gets through this day, unless you are shot in the head or somehow slain, you will stand at tiptoe whenever you hear the name again. And you will get excited at the name March the 11th. We happy few, we few, we band of brothers. Our names will be as like household names. And those who are not here, be they sleeping or doing something else, they will feel themselves sort of crappy because they are not here to, to join the fight on this day, the 11th of March. Move out. Go. I've sent for reinforcements, sir, just in case. Good thinking, Frazier. We're gonna get him, Caroline. Promise you. Promise. Look, you're making me dizzy. You're making me dizzy. You know, it's the not knowing that's making me crazy. <laughs> now, knowing those two, they could be standing in the middle of a frozen lake right now, staring at a map. You sure this is the place? Well, these are the coordinates. 125 degrees west by 70 degrees north. What the hell was it? That's just the ice cracking beneath us. Ice cracking? That's not uncommon, Ray. It's caused by the ebb and flow. This is a fjord that opens out to the sea. Why the hell would he want to meet here in the first place? I mean, why wouldn't he want to deliver his guns in the warmth and safety of uh, any American city? <laughs> Bob, wondering where you've been. You look a little pale. I'm still dead. Uh, yes, well, I'm having a hard time believing that. Well, there you are, then. Uh, well, here's another story. With my regrets, we'll get Muldoon for Caroline. For Caroline. Oh, forgot. Trouble. What? Great Scott. Warm up. Warm up. Husband, your ammunition. Shoot to kill. Or if not, at least to hurt them enough so they'll give themselves up. Is that normal? It's perfectly natural, Ray. You see, the movement of the sea under the ice causes it to heave and crack.
Right, but we have plenty of loot on the sled. That's a plus. Fire, you are surrounded. Excuse me, please, Rock sir. Your Could you... Hide! Go! 